Hello everyone, John here from War Jeepney and we are at the final stable here at the very first Philippines Bushido Blood Sport Tournament. And we are here now at Attack Arena and you see there the Ito clan wall. Okay, over here at the final table we'll be playing the Seikyu or the one that involves the three uh, control zones. Uh, we have Jam and her Savage Wave versus Jay <laughs> and his very friendly cult starter. of Uray. Okay. Starter. Introduce starter. Introduce uh, starter uh, models. Theo. So first, Jam can explain what you have on your side. I have a Bakagono Boomer, Rinsho, Chuck, I have Sihan and Zoo, and um, Hiretsuna right here. Hiretsuna. <laughs> they have, I, I, I'm using a thousand eyes list. They have night blood mushrooms, uh, Rinsho and Chuck, and then I have a sneak. And then I'm using a totem pole. Okay, so that's what we have for the Savage Rave. And for the oh, friendly sorry. cult of Yure, what sorry. do we have <laughs> here? Uh, I'm using a starter list. But as for John Zablan's tournament rules, if I use a starter list, I get two rice points against my opponent. Yes, a starter which, benefit. Yeah, so which allows me to field a militia, a farmer, an armored Kairai, Ikirio with a broken umbrella. Uh, Kato, very friendly. A drain spirit, and because of my two extra rice points, breath of your ray. Breath of your ray. Okay. So, have you deployed? Is that already yes, your that's deployment? deployment? That's deployment. So, we're starting with round one. And go ahead, roll up. Three. Oh, I win. You go first. Two is three. So, uh, who goes first? She goes first. Breath is in effect. So, Range of line of sight for anything without a, uh, with a soul and not and doesn't have six cents is two inches for turn one and probably turn two. Breath of Fury and Darkness is also in play because she's playing Thousand Eyes. So for me, it's four inches. Okay, so everyone is inside the uh, foggy terrain. Foggy and dark. Okay, so we'll uh, make their opening moves and then we will uh, come back. So here we are now at the end of turn one and the Savage Wave side controlled by Jam just primarily focused, everybody focused to generate that high amount of key. Whereas the Cult of Fury controlled by Jay moves forward and he now has three zones and he earns three points for this three turn. Three scenario points. Yes. Three scenario points for this turn. Wow. And let's now go for the second turn initiative. I will make, uh, sorry. Passing initiative again, because uh, breath is on. Okay, so okay. Savage Wave automatically wins the initiative. Savage Wave maintains darkness, so darkness is still in effect. Jay uh, cuts once again using the cultist ability to generate up to total of 8 key. Jam move, moves Hiretsuna into this doorway over here, and it is now the Colt's turn. Armored Kairai stays inside. And the Armored Kairai just moves forward, staying inside the zone of uh, the objective zone. And back to Jam. Han moves forward uh, using the road and transforms into Zoo. Sorry. So still here at turn two, the boomer moves from here towards the road. Hiretsuna moves out of the doorway to go beside the boxes and the terrain. The Kairai uh, is still holding the are still holding the objectives, and Ikirio is able to make her way around here. And Hiretsuna right now is uh, spending key to gain an activation, and is attempting to shoot uh, Ikirio. And she will make a ranged uh, test for that. Okay, so that's five minus. So boosting for three dice, seven to hit. That's uh, one, one in. Minus two. And nothing. So that's a two. Deals no damage. So nine. Minus one. Yeah, so eight. Ah. Wala nang iba, modifier. So and 
Lightweight ability allows it to move back without penalties. Kairai leaves the objective zone to engage Zoo, and you will have a melee exchange. Okay, so no boosts are done, and all attack. One attack. One attack. I'm a five. Seven. Makes a five. Defense of six. Seven. And makes an attack of one. Three. So, uh, sorry, attack of three. Three in. Three in. That's uh, three seven. in, just plus three in. Plus one. So, so just three in. So one. No, seven plus one is. Plus uh, yeah, three in. Three so in. I'm uh, tough one, so I take two. Six, the back seven, so and seven is. Right? Kairai takes two so damage. One, one. Due to and tough. Uh, Boomer moves forward uh, and attempts to shoot Ikirio. At minus three. So At that's minus three. Seven. So she needs a seven. I'll boost. <laughs> Boosting. Needing a seven on three dice. Uh -huh. And that is a six. Minus one die pool because we And that is a miss. Jay activates Ethereum and we'll look into the void against the boomer. Is that an opposed key? Post key test. Yeah, I win at three. I win at three. So uh, four damage. Base of four damage plus modifier. Uh, so take four. So Boomer takes four damage. It survives. It's down to what? Down to down to one. Boomer's down to one. So Rinshaw walks over here, and Kato moves. Going behind the boxes. Back to Savage Wave. Rinsha moving through the water, and we have ruled that as just normal terrain. Move 5. Engage. Fear check, please. Kairai moves and engages the boomer. Fear and we're making a Fear 5 test. And it is afraid. So minus 2 because exhausted. And that's a melee exchange. So one on defense and three on attack. That is a seven, two, three. So three in. It was a cock. Okay, a cock die. So we rolled the four. So that's three in. And it is killed. I will pay three with Kato. I measured it within three. Yes. Paying three and turning it into a mindless zombie. What's that? A militia? Uh, uh, yeah, a militia, but it's exhausted. An exhausted militia. So this guy has activated this is exhausted. Track moves forward to that area. Soulless. Always pass. Okay, so Kairai? Moves to engage Zoo. Zoo has to face, but is not surprised because it started within the line of sight. And they will have a melee exchange. Okay, go. Attack. Defense of six. One in. One in. I have plus one. Six, seven. So tough one, so nothing. No damage is dealt. <laughs> Track is moving towards the rightmost objective zone. Kato summons a value four. Marionette for four. For four. So it is a four key for life marionette. So that ends turn two and Cult of Fury got four scenario points. With Savage Wave having zero, so uh, Cult of Fury has one victory point, and we are now starting with turn three. Okay, Zo turns back into Han and retains the damage, I believe. She has no damage. Uh, so it has no damage, so uh, just returns back into Han, engaging this Kairai over there. So Savage Wave again has initiative, and are you maintaining darkness? No. And not maintaining darkness. 
So Kato cuts again for extra key. Ikirio does the same, cuts also. Uh, he cuts Ikirio to generate more for himself. Okay. So he has seven now. And that is for the Colts uh, starting phase. Track moving to engage the marionette in the hopes to eliminate it with a combo strike. And we have the roll off. Combo attack. What's combo that? attack. Ajen, nice. six, six. Minus six. zero. Six goes through and damn combo attack. Oh. Okay, so that is. Uh, <laughs> After this one damage, just roll the damage roll just for enough. Damage roll to, to just go through the sequence. Yeah, first. Oh, go through the sequence. Actually, it's okay. Na eh. Okay, na siya. Six, okay, so process. Six plus. No, it doesn't matter. Take one. It doesn't matter. Na, it's durable. Takes one damage. It is down to three. Next combo is at four. You can leave uh, base to base. You ignore zone of controls. So, marionette is down to three. This is attack roll of okay, four. five. Okay, big two. okay big so one. it's now down to two. two. Two damage. Down to two damage. Uh, down to two life, okay, sorry. Six, two. And it's down to one life. Down to one life, one more. This last one is a zero attack. Should be a nine. Roll a nine, Jam! You need a roll nine. Roll a nine! It's a lie. And, uh, CP, CP! Come on, come on. So... Marionette is brought down to one key and one life. But I guess that's good enough considering the, what it would have been if it had uh, four. It can control for four. So Marionette is left with one and it's now Jay's turn. And the Marionette is agile and evasive. Starting from the road, so it moves at five and into base contact with Rinsho. Sacrificing. And he is sacrificing for one control marker on Three dice Rinsho. A post key. Oh, no. And that is a zero rolled by Jam versus the Eight. dice rolled by Jay. So it has one control marker. Track engages Kato. And I'm not going to uh, comment much. I'm paying six for two. So paying four. six for an extra two dice. So Kato is now up to four, uh, four dice pool. And back mono horde. And is also paying key to bring up to four dice. And it is two on attack. All attack. Six. Six, seven. I am at five, six, seven. seven. Before the damage roll, I'll sacrifice this. Using his uh, sacrifice, Jutsu. So the Kirai takes the damage in essence. Yeah, it, takes, it dies. It dies. But now you suffer six. Six, that is a successful six, attack. That's a successful And you reduce ivory. two dice because yes. of ivory. Ivory so, mask. Yeah. So this Bakemono is now this guy. A, this Bakemono has this already. Is now a <laughs> an orange. An orange. An orange with the face. It's been turned into a Kairai. Jam, I can't believe you fell for that. Yep. <laughs> You've been discussing that in the uh, bat reps. In, in the bat reps yeah, in the uh, Bushido the game uh, discussion on Facebook. How could you fall for Jam's that? Jam's character the turned into an orange. <laughs> Patented. You're gonna pay for it. <laughs> you know it. You now have an orange. You now have I, an orange. I'm not accepting it. <laughs> You're gonna pay for it. Uh, for all of you who don't know, Jay awards an orange with a, with a smiley face to all those that he has victimized with the mask. With the broken rule ivory mask. <laughs> Stupid rule you should have been nerfed three seasons ago, even though we have and it is. two editions. Three editions ago, should have been. Damn it! Okay, back to Jay's turn. Ikirio uh, doing a look into the void on hand. And that is an opposed key. Three dice is two jams, one dice, and jam makes a six. Makes an eight, so that is successful. So instant four damage. And what's the result? Ten, five damage. Five damage to Han, and Han is killed. Jam is left with Retsuna. 
Uh, and a controlled rain shot. So Hiretsuna moves outside here on the other side of the Minka house and is summoning some reinforcements. What, what is An archer. That? A Bakemono archer. <laughs> the Kiryu activates. She casts. Activating and casting against the archer. Uh, is that looking to the boy? Look into the boy. Post key test. With a defense of six. Oh, I failed! And a failed roll. Uh, five, just five, I think. And oh, is moving yeah, out, moving back okay. with a move action after that simple key feat. Just in case some of you are curious about the noise, we have another game going on there between Savage Wave and Prefecture. But we're here right now at the championship table, the finals table. Usually, wherein from the looks of it, Savage Wave seems to be winning. <laughs> savage! You're savage! You know that. Jam doing some pre measuring. Pre measuring is allowed in our tournament. And is shooting Ikiryo. Uh, we are not ruling that uh, forest area as cover. <laughs> and uh, needing a 5 to hit. We have 1 in, 1 damage. Damage roll off. 2 in. 10, so. Minus 1. 2 in. Yeah. So, Ikiryo takes 2 damage. She's down to. 2 1. She's down to 1. So, the Kairai moves. Broken couple of Uris. Towards the 2 Bakemon over there. And it is back to Jam. Rinsho is still controlled. So, broken. so therefore, she can only activate. Those two guys over there, Hiretsuna and an Archer. Archer should have a reload, right? Yeah. Uh, so that Archer has a reload marker. Not engaging, but I'm shooting. Hiretsuna moving. And who are you shooting, Jam? Shooting Ikiryo. 369, so range 2. Um, I don't have cover and I'm surprised. So that's a five minus one. So four to hit. You know, four to hit. Here it's Una's range attack versus Ikiryu. Mm. And she is thinking. I'm thinking if I shoot. Using her phone as a guide for what she might do. Okay, boosting dice. Boosting dice. So on a five, right? Oh, on a four. On a four. On a four. That's a zero. And at zero damage. Does she have poison 10? Poison 10? No? Uh, minus 2. So minus 2, so not enough to deal. One damage. One damage would have killed. Yes. Here you go. And what's happening now? Fear the check. Kairai is engaging. 5, fear 5. Suna. Fear 5 and fail, so afraid. So Hiratsuna has an one die. fear or afraid Afraid marker. Afraid. And melee exchange. Yeah. Three is to one. Four defense of four. So that's two in. Yeah, two in. And this is plus one. Eight. So two in. Two in at Piretsuna. Piretsuna is fully activated. So Hiretsuna has no damage yet. It is taken two. And it is down to two. Okay. And back to Savage Wave. Akimono Archer just reloads. And Jay is activating Rinsho with that control marker. 
and moves it away, facing away, and it's now back under Jam's control with one activation. And that is her last activation. And she moves back into the water, which again we have declared as not difficult terrain. Two points. And that's the end of the turn? Well, I have... No, I just score three. So he activates them twice, taking the zones. And it is the end of turn three. I think I'll call it. And Jam is... I'm calling it. Calling the game. Because she might win and hurt Jay's feelings. Yeah. He's <laughs> caught a fury that might lose. Okay. So for the first uh, tournament in the Philippines, we have the champion. The champion, Jay. Disappointing. Super disappointing. So track is running towards the road. And rubber banding. Three victory points. 